All right, welcome to the Icebreaker, episode one here today. Uh, pretty excited about it. I'll be your host. My name is Mac Heisinger, and uh, episode one of Icebreaker is presented by Royal Lee Page Dynamic Real Estate, 1450 Cordon in Winnipeg. Check them out for all your home buying and selling needs. That's royalleepage.ca. So special thanks to them for presenting our first episode. Uh, make sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Icebreaker Show with two W's. That's at Icebreaker Show with two W's. So without further ado, we'll get right into it. Uh, we're uh, excited to be joined by Connor McLennan and Peyton Krebs for episode number one of Icebreaker. How's it going, guys? Fantastic. Yeah, things are going good. That's good. What's the summer been like? Pretty quiet, honestly, just uh, trying to stay busy, uh, training and work, and that's about it. Yep, same here. Just been uh, buzzing away with working out, living the hockey life, summer lifestyle, Go out golfing now too, riding the mountain bike, getting after it, so that's about it. The uh, mountain bike, a new initiative for you? Yeah, picked up a mountain bike here uh, once the season ended and I've uh, been riding a lot, going to the mountains. Bray Creek is a, a good spot to do that, so I've been doing that a lot. It's been pretty fun, so um, good workout and then uh, a little adrenaline too. Yeah, I could imagine. Uh, Connor, yeah. I had to – got to ask you there. Uh, you sent me a picture the other day, and uh, your jumpsuit you're wearing at work says M. McCarthy on it. And I'm curious to know the backstory behind that, how you're dubbed McCarthy. So, uh, funny story. Um, I was kind of just a uh, pickup off the street for uh, going to work for my dad. But, you know, the smallest guy there, uh, his name's uh, McCarthy. I don't even know what his first name was. He got let go. But right before he got fired, he ordered three brand new pairs of coveralls. So, I've, uh, I'm have i set for coveralls, but I'm um, not with the right <laughs> name. <laughs> um, you've been golfing at all either, Connor? I know Peyton has. What's the golf game like? Um, I, I've been out twice. Uh, first round wasn't great, um, but hopefully things start picking up. I'm going to start going out a little more uh, as things start to slow down, but uh, I'm going to try and get out a little bit more, get my game up. Peyton, what about you? Yeah, I've been golfing uh, quite a bit. That was pretty funny, guys. You said about trying to get your game better about three times, but anyways. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've been golfing. Uh, I think I've golfed like five times now, so I'm trying to get it once a week, but mostly hitting the range, you know, ironing the, the sticks and just trying to dial it in, but I haven't played much in the past two years, so uh, I just actually played. Just trying to keep it under 100, or what's, what's your that? goal? Just trying to keep it under 100, or what's yeah, the Yeah, I know, I don't know about that, but I played like in Vegas with like a few of the guys there, and I just got absolutely worked, and it was embarrassing, so like. Got to get your game up. Yeah, I was like, okay, I need to, when summer comes around, I'm going to hit the, hit the link. So I, uh, been shooting quite a bit and just, you know, getting the notepad out, seeing where my shots are at, doing things like that. Checking your distances, hey? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's something you got to do, honestly. Like, hit the, if you want to hit the flipping, whatever it's called, greens, there it is. <laughs> it's, uh, it's crazy how big some of those greens are and how hard they are to hit. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's See, my yeah. biggest problem. I can't putt. That's uh, <laughs> that's my downslide to golf. You bring your hockey stick out there. I can, get it. Go ahead. I can get it there, but as soon as it gets on there, it's a, it's a nightmare. <laughs> what are you shooting? You're chirping pain for not shooting a hundred. What are you shooting? I shoot eighty to eighty-five usually. Oh, with, whatever. Without being able to putt. That's brutal. Without being able to putt. I go, Anywhere yeah, from I 80 to 85, that. I'm pretty confident saying. All right, we got to get you down to Oak Tokes for a round. Then. I need to see I'll, I'll, come, I'll come down and uh, and show you what I got, bud. My last round was an 84, so I was actually good. buzzing well, after we that. battling, eh? I was just hitting pure golf balls. It was amazing. <laughs> That's pretty good. Have you yeah. been out? Are you going out with your brothers? or? No, my brothers are buzzing away here. It's My brother, not a big deal, a little plug here. He's selling Cutco, and uh, so if anyone needs some. Are those the knives? Uh, <laughs> yeah, the knives. Yeah. So uh, he's been doing that like every night, got appointments. Anyways, hit him up if you need some knives. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Drew's doing like five classes, so he's oh, been doing uh, some. Boy, he's been busy. 
Yeah, he's I'm having enough good. time with one class. Yeah, we, we work out at like 9 till 11 every day. And then he does school 11 till 8 at night. So it sucks. But... <laughs> That's a wow. tough schedule. Yeah. Uh, Connor, what's your work again? Where, what do you do for your dad? Um, my dad owns a directional drilling company, uh, Brothers HDD. Um, I'm kind of just a shop laborer. He had to lay off some of his guys since work's not too busy right now. So I've just been helping out around the shop and um, hopefully they can get going here soon so I can stop working. <laughs> <laughs> so, Payton, you're working out at 9 a.m. Connor, when do you fit that in? or is uh, it, uh... I work out at 7, 7 till 9, and then I, uh, I got to drive an hour to work. I work in Lloydminster, so uh, I get to work around 10, 1030 and work till 430 and get home right around 530. So days are busy, but. I just have a hard time believing you're getting up before 7 a.m. I'm yeah. up at 6.05 every morning. Every, mm-hmm. every morning. I just don't buy it. Yeah, me neither. I'll, uh, I'll start sending you a picture every morning, bud. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know I've been in contact with you guys with the, you know, for social stuff and whatever, and I can't help but notice that the flow is on both you guys is, is becoming pretty, uh, pretty luscious. Yeah, I actually just got a cut too. So it was way longer than this, but uh, kind of keeping the trend of long hair. I like the, the flow to the back of the helmet. Just that look, you know, fires me up. It's good stuff. So need to uh, uh, get this get this a little longer here and see it out of the back of the bucket. Yeah. Are you hiding yours or? I, uh, I don't have much of the looks for the flow. Um, that's not m- much of my type, but um, my top's been uh, my top's been growing out since uh, I left Winnipeg, so so uh, it's pretty long. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> you're not much of a we're not going to ask you to take your hat off. We don't want to do that to the viewers here, but uh, we know we were chatting before this uh, Call of Duty Warzone. Where are we at with that? How many hours a day is that taken up with your 6 a.m. wake up? Yeah, so um, give or take probably an hour to two hours a night uh, put into the sticks. Um, the game's been sliding a little bit. haven't been able to play as much. When I was hurt there, I was, uh, I was playing quite a bit, but I um, noticed my game's been sliding a little bit. Hopefully I have to start dialing it on the weekends. You got to rearrange those priorities. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> have to have to let my old man know. He's uh he don't like me on the vids too much, so um he's probably happy I'm only playing an hour to two hours a night. Paid, what about you? You on there? Yeah, I'm on there about like probably three, four times a week maybe, depending. I usually like to play I like just to sh- you know, chat with guys. It's usually what I like to do on there and then throw in a couple W's, so that's usually what I play for, but um, yeah, just mostly to chat with some guys. Who are you guys playing with? I play uh-huh. with uh, I play with my brother and then a buddy, couple buddies from back home. Uh, I play with Lambo every once in a while. I don't like playing with him too much. He's not the not the best. Not to throw him under the bus, but um, yeah, mostly play with my brother though. Yeah, I've been playing. Uh couple guys from uh, Cody Glass and a few of those guys, whoever he's got on with them. And then uh, Mark Stone, I've been playing with a lot, actually. And uh, a few of his Winnipeg buddies, they're, they're a bunch of beauties. So Winnipeg fun to chat guys. with those guys. And, yeah, fun to chat with and, uh, you know, just chat whatever it is is going on that week. And um, it's been good times. I, uh, I heard a rumor through the uh, grapevine here that Ben Zlotti's a decent COD player. Yeah, I can vouch for that for sure. Um, the amount of hours that guy's put in the game, I hope he's pretty decent. But um, I can definitely vouch for he's a he's a pretty good player. I'll say that. Yeah, I haven't played with the guy, so I have no idea. But uh, you know, who knows? <laughs> I do know he gets upset pretty quick, so I'd like to maybe get a a live stream on uh, Zlotti playing Warzone and see what happens. Yeah, his uh, his temper is not the best when he's playing. I'm surprised he he should have four or five controllers sitting beside him, if I was to guess. But have you guys watched the uh, Last Dance yet? 
Oh yeah. The last dance, probably the best show on Netflix ever. Um, been loving that flick. Actually, I, I watched it twice now. So you have just, just kind of like to go over the finer details. I don't know. Just even when you watch an episode, you just want to go like shoot pucks or work out or something after every episode. So it's kind of a good motivation thing too. I actually haven't watched it yet, so uh, I've been told by a lot of people. I gotta, I gotta hop on Netflix, I guess. I gotta stop Much playing. Work, eh? I gotta stop playing Warzone, I guess, and uh, hop on the Last Dance. I gotta hop on the bandwagon here. So. Well, I do, I do agree with uh, Peyton. I will say it'll make you want to run through a wall. Yeah. There's a, there's a scene in there where, he's talking about how, people might think he's a tyrant and stuff, and he says if you don't want to play that way. He pauses and he says, then don't play that way. And he starts crying. Yeah. That's, that's how much he loves the game of basketball. And it's just like, it's literally incredible though to watch and, and see how much like this guy literally loved the game of basketball. It's remarkable. Yeah. Yeah. He retired like so soon, which like mind boggles me, but I don't know. It's uh, pretty amazing what he did. And the fact that he went and, and played uh, two seasons of baseball or a season and a half yeah. in between, yeah. like just crazy. Yeah. What an athlete. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, Connor, you got to get on that. It's, uh, it's Maybe quite I'll, have, uh, I'll, I'll hop on right as we're done here and, uh, and turn her on. See, yeah. if, uh, see if you guys are living up to what you're saying. Oh, yeah. We are. What we're saying, have you checked the internet? <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I, I, I can, I can. I can agree with that. The internet is blowing up about it. Payton, what was your favorite part? Uh, probably when he brought all the guys when he was uh, filming Space Jam there. Oh, and yeah, that three-on-three -three game? He brought in, uh, like, all the best players in the NBA and um, had his little setup there. I think that was, like, the coolest moment, like, in hockey. Like, I've never heard of anything like that. Right. So, like, like no one's doing a movie and – and have a rink in their back in the film set and then bring in all the best guys, you know, like I think that'd be pretty cool if someone did that. And uh, just the way he kind of, I don't know, talked about every guy and how he kind of took notes on them during that time and utilized it during the season. It was like, holy crap, this guy's insane. But yeah, kind of motivates you to do the same. And I don't know, it's like you, you definitely idolize it for sure. How about uh, when he's – playing a game and he just totally they were back to back in the playoffs or whatever and he just made something up that someone said to him and he oh, said yeah. it he said it in the media and then it just drove him for the rest of the series. Yeah. The like finding those little triggers that he that he did and everything was insane. I was just like, man, like for him he he's got everything. He's done everything. So he had to find little things to keep him moving forward, which was pretty cool. Yeah. It was uh worth the watch, Connor for sure. Jump on that and get back to us what you think. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get back to you guys when uh, when I get her going. Uh, obviously, big news today coming out of the NHL. Uh, excited about that. Return to hockey, at least something to watch here. What are your thoughts there? Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be sick. I mean, looking forward to watching hockey. It'll be interesting to see uh, uh, how it turns out with uh, no fans and everything like that. But. Um, I mean, it's still a long ways away, but it's going to be exciting, and will be it'd be interesting to see like get teams like Pittsburgh that are pretty hot, and they play, they could lose out and right and yeah. easy one game. So it's pretty crazy that uh, some of those teams got an opportunity, and um, some of those better teams have to have to grind like that. But part of the game and what they're going to do, so it's pretty interesting. Yeah, I think it's just something to look forward to. It's it's not for a while, like Pate said, but um, it'll just be exciting to to watch hockey again. <clears throat> it'll definitely be different. No fans in the stadiums, but um, just to have something on, um, even a, even though it's the middle of summer, I think it'll be something to look forward to. What do you think of the like the format? Like Pate, you alluded to it, but one through four, I think, play a round robin for seating one through four, and then five through. 12, I guess, play yeah, best of fives. Yeah, I know. I mean, if you're not in that top four, it's like it's uh, it's going to be a grind for sure. Um, a, lot of, a lot of games that matter, which is which is fun hockey. So I'm excited and obviously, you know, the team I'm going for. Yeah. 
Uh, Connor, who are you rooting for? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a diehard Oilers fan. Um, so uh, hope, hopefully they're dialed in for it. Um, they, it's been a while coming, but um, can't fall off the wagon now. And are they one through four or are they a five? No, they're, uh, I think they're matched up against Chicago. So yeah, um, see where things go there, but um, be good like their chances. Uh, that'll be a good one. I was uh, pleasantly surprised there. I saw Nathan McKinnon talking about it and they're uh, one through four. And he was just saying that he's happy that they're actually still playing around Robin because the other teams that are playing series would be way ahead of them when they go to meet. Like he's happy there's not a bye. Yeah, definitely. No, yeah, exactly. That teams that are in the top can still play and continue, right? And they're they'll be ready by the time those other teams are are done playing. So pretty cool. Yeah, and we're lucky here to be joined by Peyton Krebs and Connor McLennan. And you know, just a reminder to give us a follow on uh, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Icebreaker Show with two W's at Icebreaker Show. Love and appreciate the uh, the follow. Let us know what you think of episode one and who you might want to see um, moving forward uh, on the show. So uh, curious to see what you guys think. Uh, let us know and uh, we're looking forward to it. I guess we'll move into our last segment if you guys want to both do it or if we want to do uh, one or the other, but it's a, uh, a rapid fire and uh, we'll get on with that. If you guys want to both do it or want to, want to do it, it's up to you. You both hey, can do it. You, hey, you can fire first. I'll go second. All right. So. Yeah, we see Connor in the spotlight. He needs a secondary <laughs> group here. Exactly. He always needs an assist on his goals, eh? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. I love it. So it's good stuff. Yeah, lead the way, bud. Yeah. Okay, so I'll give you one, two, three, four, five, six questions. Okay. Uh, first, first three are uh, – one word answer. Uh, last three might put you on the spot a little bit, so oh, geez, we'll right. see how it goes. Okay. So, Coke or Pepsi? Pepsi. Power yeah. or Gatorade? Gatorade. Gatorade. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs. Favorite movie? Point Break. Uh, Lone Survivor. Favorite band or artist? Mm, Madison Krebs. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Rat. What's a bit? What's your biggest pet peeve? Uh, getting jam on my hands when I'm trying to get the bottom <laughs> of the jam <laughs> on my toast. <laughs> uh, mine's uh, being late. That'll, that'll wrap up the uh, the rapid-fire segment of our show here. Any last words uh, for our listeners? Uh, stay safe, have fun, and uh, thanks for having us on, big guy. Yeah, thanks for having us on. It was a, it was a good time seeing you two. Uh, maybe more one – or uh, one more than the other, but um, it was definitely good to see the both of you. <laughs> well, there you have it. Peyton Krebs and Connor McClennan joining us on Episode 1 of Icebreaker. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think. Um, look forward to uh, to making another episode and uh, putting it out next Monday. And that's a reminder that uh, every Monday at 10 a.m. there'll be a new episode of Icebreaker. Um, thanks for listening. And, uh, we'll see you next week.